take this pathway that it turns out we could I could have just taken earlier I had to avoid all the rocks those are strong waves scary but that was really fun and nothing bad happened so just be grateful for that remember Narnia well, in one of the movies, there's a scene that was filmed exactly right here in Cathedral Cove. And I spent a full day getting lost just to get here. So I'm off to Cathedral Cove. Okay, so I got to the Hahe Beach car park and it's actually really, really windy today. So I don't know what I'm meant to do, but let's just go out and there's lots of signs. So I'm sure one of them will tell me where to go. Here to here and where I want to go is to here. Actually, we'll just get started. I'm just gonna follow where people are. It's very windy, but let's just start walking. Look at that. I don't know if that's historic or if someone just did this. It's like way. I have been, I keep finding ropes. Let's do it. Let's try it. So it looks like there's some steps that you could climb. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The part of the fun. Looks like it was built this way. I'm just gonna climb up. Seems like you climb some stairs when you start the track and then you're in the mountain. I have not warmed up for this. I'm already running out of breath. That's not a good sign. It's really nice hiking in New Zealand because there's lots of native trees and you could just kind of play a game to spot or name them if you could. Mamaku. There are some people walking around, some are coming back, and there's some people behind me. So I'm trying to keep at a good pace so that they don't catch up. Well, they have kids, so I pass them. Um, but I don't really want them catching up. And I can see some people about 100 meters ahead of me. Hi. <laughs> it's quite funny because every, every in New Zealand, it's very common to say hi people when you're walking on the track so if you pass them you just say hi but sometimes it's awkward because not everyone says hi so you kind of have to semi look at them without them knowing that you're looking at them and then see if they're about to say hi or smile usually I would give a smile and if they're still when I'm close to them and then they're still looking at me I'd be like hey kiwis are so nice so that's that's why people do it here Okay, so it seems like we've hit the end where we have to walk on rocks. Oh, this is Gemstone Bay, the one that the guy was talking about. Uh, he suggested to try snorkel here because it's hidden and the wind might not affect it. But as you can see, the waves are not snorkelable. That is pretty rough to try and snorkel. When you're snorkeling, you want it to be almost no waves and no wind. Otherwise, it would crash you to the rocks and you don't want that. It would have been really cool to snorkel here if it was possible. So the lady just asked me if that's a walk to Cathedral Cove because it's pretty rough if you go through the rocks. It looks quite tough um, and I think it's high tide that's why. Uh, I think it's in low tide you could walk along the shore. But right now it's looking pretty tough but I'm just gonna go for it because I'm here. So let's, let's do it. Let's see if it's possible pretty rough out here actually um, you have to be careful when you're walking on the rocks because they could get really slippery good thing I have really good shoes but as you can see it can be quite tough I can see the lady ahead of me is kind of thinking if you should go uh-huh I'll probably be the same but let's just yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Still going for it? Yeah. <laughs> it is nice, eh? But the sea is pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see how far I could go to walk um, if I could actually reach the cave because that's the cave. Um, and normally you walk there inside and it's beautiful pictures, but I think it's just too high tide. Oh, this is a jump. Surprise, there's, there's a trap here. Uh, <laughs> so at least I know I could go back up that way and not have to go through the rocks again. Um, but that's nice. It seems like maybe I could try to walk the shore. Right now it's pretty high tide. But I think if I walk there, I might. I don't think I'm still gonna reach the cave because it's still too high tide but I will wait I think I will wait we're at the beach now um, and the cave is right there and I really want to see what it looks like when it's not so high tide so I think I'm gonna wait here for a couple hours I don't think I'm gonna go very far because the water is gonna go up to my knees I'm assuming and I don't really want to get wet I'm not in the mood to swim today I gave the lady a thumbs up saying I'm going back. I think she was just also wondering if I'm gonna go for it. Uh, but I'm not stupid. I can see it's dangerous because the waves are too strong to actually try to go there. Um, and I don't want to get swept up because there's literally no one here. This is a tourist spot and there's no one here. So that's a sign that it's not really a time to be here right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a spot to eat. So the lady that was following me, or I was following her at first and then I um, went ahead of her, said there should be another path actually that would be um, going around here, maybe up up that path so that it would take us straight back. Uh, but I'm just gonna sit down and Google and eat and then I might head off to see what the plan is. <laughs> I knew it. is low tide and high tide so low tide was at 10 30 and the next high tide is at 4 56 or 5 so basically the tide is only gonna come up more and more so there's no point actually waiting here so i'm just gonna look for that other trail and see if i could actually get to the cave from another area so let's take this pathway that it turns out we could i could have just taken earlier uh, to avoid all the rocks but that was really fun and nothing bad happened so just be grateful for that so i came from here and i walked all the way and now i'm here so i want to see if i could walk around i just saw a sign did well called half an hour walking back would be interesting i might be home late tonight check this out there's just a tree in the middle of the pathway and they just kept it there, wrapped around the rock. That's pretty cool. We are here. Awesome. I actually made it. It's here. I 
my fence on I'm alone. right there so that was what I saw earlier and that I thought that's where I needed to go to enter um, but I was so wrong as you can see the cave is actually there like the main cave and you can just climb up the stairs up there but I had fun really exploring those rocks that was quite interesting and it was a cool experience but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone especially if you're still you haven't done it before because you have to be really careful Look at this, it's like a mini waterfall. It's coming up from there. If Gino was here, he would say drink it. But this is the edge. As you can see, it's pretty, the, the sea is really rough today. The winds, um, it's quite windy. So, unfortunately, there's no way that I can go in there as much as I want to. Um, and I won't do it just for YouTube because I could die. <laughs> but that's all you can see. Oh, uh, let's look at the tiny house that I saw. I saw this tiny house looking thingy. I don't know what this is. And I'm assuming it's like a viewing platform. I don't really know. I don't even know if I'm meant to be here. That's interesting. Should I be here? I don't know. Does it say anywhere that I can't be here? So I'm just gonna climb up. Oh, it's a toilet. <laughs> oh. Well, this is a fancy toilet. Let's have a look. And I actually need to go. Seems like it's a long road. I'm gonna lock that. You just get a view of the sea while you're taking a. while you're doing your business. That's pretty cool, I reckon. But if you sit down. This is what we see from eye level. It's, it's quite blurry because... Is it glass? Plastic? I don't know. But really cool toilet! So it seems like they purposely built the toilet so that it's elevated and you could have a view. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I think I have seen what I needed to see. I'm pretty happy and satisfied with my adventures. And I think it's time to go home. It's probably gonna take me another hour and a half to walk. Um, but that'll be fun. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you've done all your sightseeing, the cathedral cove challenges you and makes you climb up lots of stairs. car but now I'm thinking I actually want to try and go for a swim just a quick dip because it's so hot so I'm gonna do that before I set off home so let's go to end the whole trip and the whole hiking trip just taking a dip of water and cooling down so I'm off to have a shower all right so that was really nice I didn't want to go too far in the water because it was pretty the waves are pretty strong I don't want to get dragged that's really nice 